seven days. But we got up to 64 degrees today here in San Angelo. Our low last night was 33 degrees. Our average temperature around this time of year is 60, and our low is 34. So we're seeing about average temperatures that we're experiencing here in the Contra Valley and across uh, West Texas. But our record was set in 1926 when we got down to 11 degrees. Sun rising is going to be sun is going to be rising at 7:37 tomorrow morning. So expect some fairly chilly conditions. It's going to start out calm, but we will start having breezy conditions. What we can expect is that we do see that cold front coming through tomorrow. It's going to have breezy conditions in the afternoon hours. Nightly lows for the next couple of days are going to be in the upper 20s as we head into Tuesday into Wednesday. Our next rain chances will be coming back into Friday and Saturday as the disturbance comes through Texas. It's going to probably going to give us some uh, good significant rain chances. We're sitting at 41 right now here in San Angelo. Feels like 37. Winds out of the south at six miles an hour. And across the state of Texas, sitting at 36 degrees in Amarillo, 40 in Austin, 50 degrees in Lubbock, and 49 degrees in Del Rio. So across the nation, they're dealing with a lot more colder temperatures up to the north of us. It's currently four degrees in Minneapolis, 10 degrees in Chicago. And that's all due to a low pressure system that's currently making its way across the Midwest. This is uh, causing some snowy conditions and it's bringing in that cold air from the north. And that's this is going to be the cause of our cold front for tomorrow. So we can expect that cold front coming through for tomorrow into tomorrow evening. It's, we're going to start out calm, then we are going to get breezy with high temps are going to be remaining in the 50s as we go into the next couple of days. But then we look at our extended future cast throughout the rest of the week is that we're going to have a mostly cloudy week as we go into uh, the middle of the week there with temps remaining in the 50s. We'll start this gradual warm up as we go into the end of the week, but then we do have some rain chances in store for us for some isolated showers coming into the picture for some of us on, across the Contra Valley for Friday and Saturday with temps actually warming up into the 60s and 70s as we hit end the week there. But as we go into our future cast, the temperatures we can expect for tomorrow is that we're going to start off fairly calm. That cold front will be coming through tomorrow around the noon hour. That's as we're going to have a, switch, a shift in our wind uh, conditions in our wind direction. With a, but our temps are going to be raining in the 50s. We're going to skies are going to be clearing out. It's going to be mostly sunny, but then it is going to be really breezy as that cold front continues to go on through. With our temps getting down into the 30s as we go into Tuesday night. Here's a current look around the. Uh, Contra Valley for our radar, seeing some cloud cover started to come in from the west, and so we can expect some partly cloudy conditions as we head into tonight into tomorrow morning. But our current temps are remaining in the 40s, 44 in Merton, 36 in Fort McCabot, sitting at 42 degrees in Sterling City. So we'll start getting into the low 40s. Our wind speeds right now are a little bit calm, coming out of the south at six miles an hour, and that's what's causing us to be in the 40s. But as we go into tomorrow, we will drop down into the 30s. But it's tonight, we're going to get down to 40 degrees, mostly clear winds out of the south southwest at five to ten miles an hour, and as we go into tomorrow, we're going to only get going only going to get up to 58 degrees with mostly sunny conditions. Very breezy in the afternoon hours. Winds out of the north northeast at 20 to 25 miles an hour at times, gusting to 30 miles an hour as we go into those afternoon hours. But as we go into planning our entire day for uh, Monday, we're going to start out in the 40s. Winds will be jumping up into the 20 mile an hour range, and then we'll start dying down as we get into the afternoon hour there as we go into Monday night. But for our next seven days, we can expect our temperatures to remain in the 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Mostly cloudy skies in store for us for midweek with partly cloudy conditions. We'll start seeing this gradual warm up as we go into Thursday and Friday. We do have a slight chance of some isolated showers that is, as the disturbance comes through at the end of the work week, stretching into the weekend. But our, the good news here is that our temps are going to be warming up into the upper 60s to low 70s. Overnight temps for Monday and Tuesday getting down into the upper 20s. We'll be right back.